Welcome back to Space Haven. Now, in the uh, previous episode, we uh, basically uh, managed to uh, finish up the uh, third solar system that we are in. So, uh, in this episode, as I said at the end of the previous one, we are going to jump up to this system. Now, the question is, should we try to get some hypersleep chambers before we do that? It's probably a good idea. Let's see here. Facility, hypersleep chambers. It's uh, not like those are going to be very expensive to build. So let's build four of them. How many tiles are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is excellent. We can build four of the hypersleep chambers like so. Building not possible we do have the resources they just need to figure out that we have the resources actually let's um let's have one space in between shall we there we go speed things up while they build those things You have completed the tutorial objectives, and you are now ready to venture out on your own. Expand your ship, build a fleet, and gather your crew to carry you between the stars. Choose whether you'll be heroes or villains as you struggle to survive, or watch your ship become a tomb for other, more successful crews to loot. Whatever happens, it is up to you to chart your course. If you find yourself in need of help, you can join the Space Haven community where we are ready to help you. Join our Discord, Reddit or Steam forums, and a wiki is also available in English. You can find links to these in the help section in the game menu. I highly recommend that any of you who uh, decide that you want to buy this game, which by the way launches today, yay, uh, join the Discord. It's a very friendly Discord and uh, I've uh, been a member of that Discord for uh, some time now. It's a really nice place, so highly recommend it. Okay, that actually paused the game. I think we have power over that area. Yeah, good. I was lucky with that non-powered line there. There we go. The pirates are coming. What fortuitous time that we are going to prepare for a jump. And jump. So first we go here. Then we go here. And by the way, you're limited by how many jumps you can uh, go by how much um, hyperfuel you have stored in your uh, engines. And oof, we go there. Zoom. I'm curious about this little side system. Because the first region doesn't have anything. The second has a derelict. Let's just prepare for another jump. We can jump to the next system. We'll probably get uh, harassed by pirates, but uh, here we are. But there's a derelict over there. Let's drop down beside it. And here we are. Now, I think people will want to go to sleep very soon. Are there any pirates nearby? No, oh, there is another ship though. There are derelicts in both systems. This system has ice. We should refine some uh, 
energy rods, I think. 20 of those. Maybe 10 of those and uh, 10 water, to be honest. getting ready for bed because I'm not wanting to uh, draft them before they have slept so that they have uh, more stamina or whatever that uh, yellow bar is. I guess it's uh, rest. Energy. Yeah, so basically stamina. Incoming ship from the military alliance. It's good to know that the military alliance is here in case there are pirates around. Of which I am almost absolutely convinced that there are. How can you be lonely when you... You're, you're asleep. What kind of dreams do you guys have? Peps had to go to the bathroom. And there we go. Now let's draft Catherine and Miss Matrix and send them to the... Uh... Shuttle, which we will dock here. And here we are. Now let's speed things down. So, nothing particularly nasty here. Let's pause here because the Mask Grendel has arrived. So, let's see if they have anything to trade that we would like. They do have water. That's something that I definitely want to buy. Do I want to trade anything to them? Probably if they are in need of fruit and vegetables. Which indeed they are. Definitely don't need that much fruit and vegetables, so that will leave us at 19. And we can trade again. They do have noble metals. They have tech blocks. Of course, we can make the tech blocks ourselves now, but um, no reason not to buy five of them, I think. sell them a couple of uh, oh I actually sold them vegetables five no four that'll put us at 15 and four of these maybe I'll get a couple more tech blocks then yeah why not except so there we've done a good trade move on inwards here and have a look at the rest of the ship. I'm sure there are biters here. What the heck is that? That's not a biter. Okay, Miss Matrix has an open wound. That's not good. Ow! Yeah, this isn't good. Catherine apparently became so afraid that she uh, soiled herself. Yeah, Catherine, you have to pick up Miss Matrix and uh, bring her back to the uh, Caledonia.
I don't think you want to go alone here. Uh, undraft. I think we have to draft everyone, actually. Peps, uh, which one of these contain the guns? This one. So, Peps, if you would be so kind as to go there and pick up a gun. Wally, I'm sorry, you have to be drafted as well. You can go there and pick up a gun. Now you can be undrafted, Peps. Wally, go there. Draft him. Things back to max speed. Miss just went straight to bed. I would think that she would rather go straight to the medical bed, but. You're bleeding all over the walls, Miss Matrix. Dr. Peps to the rescue! Very good. Um, I think that'll take quite some time before she's back in action. Well, 20 hours. Okay, let's leave them making stuff meanwhile then. And the grand left. I want to check if there are pirates in neighboring systems. Nope. <laughs> Eleven hours left. But I think we can send the rest of the crew over there. So let's draft all of them. Set to minimum speed. Um, enter the vessel, enter the vessel, and enter the vessel. Now, they are not very skilled gunners. Catherine is uh, going to be the best one here. Who knows, maybe they get skill from this. I'm not sure. Those things were nasty. Okay, so here we are. Catherine is taking the lead. Miss Matrix has uh, bled extensively here. Oh, I don't want to close the door. the bathroom. Nothing nasty here. Doesn't appear to be anything nasty here either, but uh, you never can tell. How about this room then? the generator looks fine oh lots of fighters over there we move to there
that is quite useful. This is a major biter infestation. Let's go through here. Okay, so... Well done, guys. Excellent. They're all done. Uh, undraft. The what? The M Slander. That's a funky name. Do we want to transfer anything from here? Yes, we do. A little bit, actually. Speed things up. I wonder what the best way to deal with that, uh, those toxic fumes are. I mean, building an airlock worked, but the problem with building the airlock was that it damaged all of the equipment because of the uh, vacuum. So I don't think that's the optimal way to do it. Ah, Miss Matrix is up on her feet again. Welcome back. There's another ship incoming. It looks to be a military alliance ship. Probably the same one. Turn on some music before you go start working. That's a good idea. Catherine and Miss is going over to uh, salvage stuff. The S. Scott. That's a different ship. Hello. You have nice stuff? Yes, you have base metals. I think we have any of those left. Oh, we have four of them. In comparison, we have 24 carbon. Let's get the water. We have plenty of money, so we can just buy it. Um, I also think we want a couple of IV fluids here. Uh, energy blocks. We can make them ourselves. So let's just get base metals. I don't want to buy steel plates because we get so many... St I think we get two steel plates per base metal. Do I have anything that you want? Yeah, I do have some electronics. And sell you some vegetables. A couple of carbon blocks. Get some money back. Excellent. Speed things up again. And someone was wondering whether I could deconstruct a wall in ships like this. Apparently, I cannot. There is no way for me to mark something for deconstruction. I believe that someone was Alex, actually. Thank you for asking that question, Alex. I suppose I could send them to shoot mercilessly at the walls, 
uh, which would probably damage them and eventually tear them down, but uh, I'm not sure that would be time efficient. I'm transferring everything already? Yes, we are. Is there anything to salvage here? Energy scrap. And tech scrap. The Grendel has returned. And the crew is all off to bed. While they work, there is something that I need to do, because I think we need more space here in this uh, bridge to get room for all of our uh, operations tables. There we go. Can that be built? It can actually be built here. It gives them some unreachable areas, but... Um... Okay, so I'm thinking that we will remove these. Like so. And if we build... Okay, so they are equally big. I'm pretty certain about this. This is extremely space inefficient. But I could build that there, and I could build the shield console here. Which of course means I didn't need to tear down the wall. Are you guys coming along with the uh, salvage? You're done. Great. Let's prepare for a hyper jump then. While they're asleep, we probably also want to build some more lights in here. We'll build a lamp there. And a lamp there. And then we can uh, build some uh, old lights. Like so, that should give them enough light in the bridge. I believe we are ready to jump. So let's jump here. We do need more warp cells, though. Or whatever it's called, it's called... 
We will see soon what it is called, actually. Let's drop out of warp here. Hold hyperfuel. Okay, can I select all of you? Yes, I can. Craft and enter the craft. And dock here. Pretty sure there's going to be nasties in here as well. Probably of the worst kind. Biters at least. Very good. That was quite painless, but this ship looks quite infested. you guys go in there. Yeah, okay, so they can tear down a wall like that. That helps. Come on. Where did you come from? Maybe not. Yeah, there we go. That's one way of making shortcuts around the derelicts, I suppose. Ship explored the MAS Bayway. Okay, so this was a military alliance ship. this credits and a data vault. undraft them and undraft this what do you want to transfer from this one everything and we have two data logs that I haven't read tranquility this was the one uh, where Captain Michael Raymond of the good ship tranquility was uh, speaking entry two awful empty in my sky things are going well got more crates of electronics than we know what to do with but that's like the opposite of a problem except it ain't because that space in the hole could be full of something we actually need like water or hyperfuel? I mean, what do you do when you have too much of something? You sell it, right? And you buy what you don't have? That's trade. Can't do that out here. Ain't nobody around to sell or buy from. But Sam reckons you have to be as dumb as a horse to leave resources lying around when you find him. And he's right. So, we brought over a stack of crates from that wreck we found yesterday and now our hold is full of even more electronics we don't need and Kate is still chuntering on about how we need more sticks for the core. There's got to be some folks somewhere out here who've got more power rods than they know what to do with. And maybe they need circuit boards? Or maybe they need fruit? We got lots of fruit. Yeah, there's got to be someone out here we can trade with. I guess the tricky part is finding them. Then we have... Call me crazy. This is uh, Captain Floyd Pierce. We've read the first three entries. Where. Uh, let's see. Um, Blondie is. Uh, no, Brown is. was reading in his bunk. Land ahoy! We got a good contact from the telescope. Right kind of mass, orbital radius, and atmosphere composition, at least. It's a ways out, right on the edge of the telescope's range, but we can make it. Coordinates attached. I told the guys to do a full systems check. Make sure everything's ship-shape for a long sequence of interstellar hops. Ten minutes later, Blondie got in a fight with Chang. Knocked him out cold, so while 
chef was bandaging Chang's boo-boo, I had to continue... No, I had to confine Blondie to his cabin. He's in there right now, sulking and reading that bloody book of his again. I asked Chang what it was about. He mumbled something about the inventory report, but he's high as a kite right now, and Chef says he's got a nasty concussion. He might not even remember. I guess I'd better go check on Blondie, see what he says. Wish me luck. Paused. Resumed. Blondie gave me an earful, as expected. He just won't let go. Started ranting some crazy shit at me about the poison Eden and a great step backwards. I thought he was going to have a go at me too. So, yeah, he's still confined to quarters. At least until Chang recovers and we get his side of the story. I asked Brown about the inventory situation. He checked the bridge comp, says we're good on everything. We could be a little more comfortable on energy sticks, but there's no crystals left in this system and Telescope says there's plenty of crystals around our destination. We're so close now, I can almost taste it. Eden. It's out there, and we're going to find it. Just three jumps. Three days. This is going to be huge. I just know it. End log entry. Yeah. Anyone convinced? I know I'm not. temperature like in the bridge. 18 degrees. That room is rather cold. We haven't done anything with these two rooms yet. That room is 20 degrees, so that's good. And the generator room is also 20 degrees, so that's perfect. Unreachable areas. I'm not too concerned with that. There isn't really anything back there, but we can move the lamp there. Then we can move that lamp there. Which in turn means we can move the main console, the navigation console, one step over there. And then everything will be reachable. Just in case they have to service the wall, I don't know. However, with a new day incoming, I think that this is a good time to end this episode. So uh, thank you all so very much for joining me, and I'll see you all in the next one.